everyone. Uh, caterpillar at your service. Okay. Caterpillar at your hang. Sorry. So, regarding about the 320 excavator, some of my subscribers, they are uh, facing a problem of a low power. Or it's either the engine is uh, almost shutting up or shutting down. Like for example, right now, we have here a 320D excavator. Yeah, I'm here at 320D excavator. Sorry that uh, the, the camera I'm using is a uh, front. So we will show you after this. So I would like to share this problem. It is someone uh, or uh, some technician is or uh, some uh, mechanic. They're facing that this type of problem. Okay, as we can hear, that the engine load is uh, like a heavy. That almost engine is shutting out. You can hear that. And then the pressure is reaching almost normal. Okay. Okay. This is the situation. As you can see, the main relief valve is relieving the pressure, but the engine is almost shutting off, almost shutting down. Yeah, that's the situation. At this moment in time, I would like to share for someone where you're going to adjust or try to adjust. But you have to make it sure that the engine power is in complete powerful. Okay? So, this is the way and also I observe. I just want, uh, regarding about this video, just to share about my idea and uh, experience at this type of problem okay now we're going to the uh, hydraulic pump side okay for the information of everyone uh, regarding about uh, how I have done the, top, uh, the adjustment of the output flow why the engine is uh, getting overload or is almost shutting down okay in this video and part of this video i will explain it and uh, show where to adjust and how to adjust and which one we need to adjust okay i'm sorry uh, uh be patient about uh, in this video this i'm not an expert in the part of this uh uh, adjustment of uh, flow but uh, I want to make it sure that uh, someone and everyone can understand in this topic okay as we can see pump control output flow adjust okay adjustment of pump out output flow con constant horsepower control as we can see the if you see this picture there is a numbering and point thing if you uh, if someone familiar about this pump and uh, we do not know and um, you don't have any uh, knowledge how to adjust this is the way and this is the location through the number you can I identify that number which type of uh, adjustment screw that are indicated okay like for example 21 20 uh, 20 21 22 23 okay 20 21 22 23 so this is the set okay adjustment screw is number 20 so we can see that is in the picture and also this guide where to adjust now based on my video I adjust it because uh, the flow is uh, Uh, the high pressure or a uh, high pressure is uh, too much sorry so meaning the tight thing or uh, the 
tighten of the uh, adjustment screw is too much so the pressure is holding too much so meaning to say it will come reach in high pressure based on the flow okay so this is the procedure how to adjust I hope that uh, you can understand okay at first number 23 number 23 is the lock nut and the uh, number 22 is adjustment screw okay based on the procedure I hope that uh, you can uh, copy or post this video to understand and read this uh, procedure okay counter clock twice if you want to decrease and clock twice if you want to increase the pressure okay decrease the pressure counter clock <laughs> and then at our first flow uh first uh, sorry the first stage okay this is a constant horsepower so the flow of the oil will uh, uh, getting high because it is only as you can see 19 liter per minute or 5 point US gallon per minute so in 18,000 based on the pressure gauge it's 18,800 kPa or 1,700 PSI up to 19,600 or 2850 psi the pump is operating in the first stage of constant horsepower control okay so you can see here how you can tighten the lock nut the torque range okay so the second stage second stage okay loosen lock nut meaning to say the number 21 it is the bigger size uh, the smallest size and the first one is the bigger size okay it is for the low pressure or the higher flow okay 23 22 22 is the adjustment screw so the second stage okay loosen lock nut this is for the higher range or uh, the lower flow okay so 13 liter per minute the same procedure but you need to adjust higher by using pressure gauge 27,500 kPa up to 4,000 PSI or uh, when you adjusted you need to reach around 34,300 kPa to 4,950 PSI this operating in the second stage of constant horsepower control this is a gauge okay this is a reading on the gauge so lighting as we can see the torque range of lock nut and adjust the idler pump in the same manner okay or the same in the say on the other side okay the same manner the same procedure okay and use lock nut 27 adjustment screw 26 in order to adjust the first stage of constant horsepower control use lock nut 25 and adjustment screw 24 in order to adjust the second stage of constant horsepower control okay so the maximum flow of the pump this just based on the situation if needed okay you can adjust to maximize if it, uh, if not needed if you think that everything is uh, in almost normal based on the operation operational uh, situation operating time okay you don't need to adjust okay all the procedure is in here based on my uh, way of adjustment it is not exactly but uh, I have done the same as the proper needed of uh, doing adjustment okay this pump control 
why the, our machine is uh, loaded or heavy load at the time when I uh, going to ta well, the time when I'm going to testing it okay this is it just stay tuned and see the situation and I hope that everyone can get the idea good idea in this uh, part of my video based on the needs of uh, except for uh, standard needs of the machine as we can see and here see there's some changes it happened now it is almost there okay as we can hear but little bit more I think it is okay. You can see that. This is sometimes it happens while the machine is stopped for a long time or not using. And uh, it's happened that the, the bulb is not moving. So if I adjust number one and observe the engine sound engine sound is okay it's okay that is an idle position and boom up Boom up and back it out. You know this pressure. Why the bucket? It is getting more higher than the other function of the machine. You know why? Because based on the troubleshooting and caterpillar uh, uh, instruction, you can get the normal pressure or normal uh, reading through the function of bucket through the function of bucket as you can see as you can see okay i will return it the same before when the engine is uh, shutting off okay Okay. 
as you can hear and uh, we can see we are in idle okay we are in idle and if you can see the bucket I push this uh, right handle or uh, right pilot control going to outer or uh, extending the bucket okay It is okay. Okay, what about the other? Like uh, the uh, stick or arm? As you can see, the arm is moving. What about if the engine is almost shut down? Okay, if anyone can hear that sound, that's what will happen if the flow is too much okay as we can see the engine is almost shut down okay so now i hope that this video a little bit uh learn to anyone but you have to observe if the hydraulic uh, temperature it will be coming high okay so that's the uh, si uh, simple way as as per my experience that's a simple way i can share for everyone that we hope that this uh, small experience can be uh, help for anyone that facing at this type of problem but warning uh, and also caution you have to make it sure that the engine power is in normal and powerful as a uh, going uh, for work or else if you do that adjustment the machine will be moved slowly because you didn't observe the engine power or uh, engine uh, power uh, yeah engine power if it is normal or not if there is a problem on engine even you adjust that uh, adjustment okay you can get the engine will not sharing up but the problem is the power of the uh, hydraulic system is not getting in a good power good energy or a good resistance okay so you have to make it sure that the engine power will be in a uh, normal as you can see in uh, number 5 Okay, to the main pump. This is the port of main pump. One, one and two. Okay, this is your number one.